Okay, I'm a journalist, independent journalist, investigative journalist. Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we have Press NH now as he gets completely manhandled by an older man and turns into a giant snowflake. Enjoy the video. Always check the description, all links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated, they do help me continue my activism. We're gonna get right to it here, guys. Enjoy the video. Yeah, so this guy does a healthy dose of e bagging at the beginning of every single video. Why people would donate to this clown, I have no idea. Thanks for joining the movement. Can I ask why you're taking a video? You can ask. Yeah, I actually The same rights you have mass right now. Okay. I'm just curious on why there's a on-duty police officer in the course of his duties in Claremont from Charlestown in Mass right now. Well, that's all. I'm just a little curious on why he's getting paid to go to Mass. Pretty name? sure that's against his policy, so. Is that, is that your name? What's your name, please? I'm sorry? Your name, please? I don't give that information. No, you're taking mine. Yeah. You're taking Lewis. your name? Huh? Lewis. Wow, I thought it was only the California trash that recorded churches. And now this guy is doing this in New England? Hopefully it's not going to be a new trend all across the nation because that is disgusting. So here we have church coming out. Yeah, you have the same rate as I do, man. Yeah, just, just get out of the street. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just get out of the street, man. I don't want you to get hit. Yeah, man. no, I watch out for yeah. I'm not stupid. Huh, I appreciate you joining the movement, man. Uh, well, my yeah. movement is just filming you, that's it. Yeah. I don't know what your movement is. It's the First Amendment right to free press. Yeah? Yeah, same rights you have to go to church and practice religion. Okay. You know so, what I mean? So what is your uh, interest here, though? Exactly. What do you mean? Huh? My interest? Yeah. I mean, well, there was an off-duty, well, on-duty police officer out of his jurisdiction over in, uh, out of Charlestown. Yeah. That I keep catching on and off-duty, coming to Claremont out of jurisdiction, going to Walmart, going to the community center on taxpayers' dollars. Yeah. Well, when so, you say catching, you know, you know that that's something that he's not allowed to do. Yeah, of course, it's against his policy to be driving off duty in a police vehicle out of his jurisdiction. All right. Yeah. So you, so you know that there's no arrangement, special arrangements made for. It doesn't matter. The department that he works. For? No, I, I know very much about their department. You know, and I'm only giving you the same respect as you're giving me. You know, so I'm just that's why I'm giving uh, you that information. You yeah. know. No, I just yeah, because I don't have to answer what, your uh, questions. What? Was. You should probably flip the phone. You'll get a better. Uh, no, I'm you'll fine. get a wider angle. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't yeah. need one. Oh, that's fine. Um, so yeah. Do you work for the church or? Work for it. Yeah. Well, volunteer. you volunteer. I'm, nice. I'm a parishioner. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the same rights they have to practice religion. I have the same rights to free press, and a lot of people don't understand that. You know. Right. No, I understand. But that. I am here for a reason other than just filming the church. You know. So as you guys can see in the top left corner, he wasn't satisfied with just recording the church. He now wants to record the school as well. So this guy is going from bad to worse. Town meetings and stuff like that. that yeah, I'm not even allowed to go to a town meeting. I'm actually trespassed from all public buildings in Charlestown from an unlawful arrest from the chief. Oh yeah. 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 So they're under high scrutiny right now with me. Huh. Yeah. Just you show up, yeah, with the camera. Well, they're corrupt, that's why. And they don't like the camera, because I highlight corruption. Policy violations, procedure violations, everything that we pay for them not to do, you know, to abide by. So, yeah. Oh, he ran over a cone. So, yeah, no, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not going to be mad about you video recording if I am, right? That's kind of hypocritical. No, it depends on your demeanor, you know? So, you'd be surprised. A lot of people try to smash my camera and... You know, assault me and so forth, so. Yeah, well, assault is assault, whatever the. Yeah, well, they'll get prosecuted for it if they do, or sprayed. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you. Appreciate your understanding. Yeah, so as you guys see, he's trying to pretend like he's a good guy, but he forgot the time where he was harassing patients at a methadone clinic. That would portray his character a little bit better. Anyways, let's fast forward to the part where he gets manhandled by one of the public employees, who is a senior citizen, by the way. I have to live here to get services from you? Is that what you're telling me? What if I wanted to buy a house here?
Here we go. You want to get tough again? Are you serious? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Guys, look at this. Look at this. That's assault. That's assault. He's assaulting me. He's assaulting me. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me now. Get your hands off of me now. The door. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Dude, get your hands off of me now. Don't touch my guys. He's assaulting me. Send an officer here now. You're fucking, you're fucked. You're fucked, Jeff. Give me my property now. Give me my property now. So I'll ask Kelly about that too. All right, guys, what did you think? Wasn't that great? Not only did the elderly man remove the frauditor physically from the building, but on top of that, he took his phone or his other camera. I think that was fantastic. Anyways, before we wrap up the video, let's listen to Val Venus and Wistboy a little bit more. Why don't we dive into the stupid head first? We could literally eliminate the traffic courts. And then guess what else? And maybe, who knows, it may be DCYF, CPS, maybe maybe irs next right so hey yeah. will hey will so i just figured out how to pull up the chats but when i pull up the chats i can't see the video screens kind of underneath it but okay. there's one guy here in the chat that says yeah i guess his screen name is the tribe shout out to the tribe and he says val that's what you call a win i'm assuming he's referring to having the case dismissed correct I'm guessing so. I'm I'm guessing. So, yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, make sure they're very very specific. Okay. So if a compliment on Val's good dictation articulation of legalese, yes. So the tribe, um, yes, that's exactly what I would call the win. Um, the state, the foundation of the state's claim against me. There's there's two claims. Okay. There's the claim that I made the illegal U-turn. Well, three claims really. I made the illegal U-turn. Um, and I didn't present my registration. So those are two claims being made against me. The third claim, which is really the first claim, because it's the foundation of the state's claim against me. And the claim is I am obligated to obey the state's written instrument called traffic laws just because I'm physically here in the geographical location of America uh, of Arizona and ultimately of Mesa, Arizona. And so if that's going to be the foundation of their claim, well, then the secondary claims, which are the illegal U-turn and the non-presentation of a registration, those claims don't matter until we can first settle whether the foundational claim that an obligation exists for me to obey their written instrument called traffic laws in the first place is legitimate and it can only be legitimate if the human beings that are making that claim against you which you're a human being as well if they can present facts that would prove to reasonable human beings and what that means is a reasonable human being has to be able to look at those facts and go ah that makes sense did any of this make sense to anyone but Val Venus? Because honestly, for me, I have no clue what the hell he's talking about. It's complete sovereign citizen mumbo jumbo. And he says, no, he's not a sovereign citizen, but he sounds pretty damn close. Anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of editing to see if I can make Val Venus make a little bit more sense for us. Let me try this. <laughs> all right there you go guys i fixed val venus now he makes a lot more sense than usual thanks for watching everybody please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one i live here